Hey guys, how's it going? It's Seize here. I'm bringing you a little looting guide on how to loot, um, Burrywood. Now, Burrywood is located in the top center. It's pretty much a square, so it's very easy to loot. I dropped all my bonjour clips because I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. And if I find any food, which I most likely will, I am going to eat it right on the spot. But yeah, as soon as you enter Burrywood, you see this, these walls. Now, these walls hide some stuff such as work lights as you can see there's a work light right there and right here we see a swift magazine but this also spawns the humvee also spawns in burrywood so be watchful of that now let's see what's up here in this sniper tower now up here we have standard stuff that you would find like a military base we have a desert helmet some rock explosives and a caltrop but let's get to looting the buildings and i just broke my leg All right. So, this is a food store, I am quite certain. Yes, it's a food store. Um, in here we have some moldy seeds. You can make some moldy seeds. Moldy corn. My mind is going faster than I can think. But we have some moldy corn. You can make some seeds out of that. But I am going to make use of all this food. And I am going to eat it. Because I need food. Let's continue down this road, guys. So right here you see a police station this is where you would find all your guns and your police all your th things that associate with the police well, right here you have your civilian bullets um, your little Stetson never seen a Stetson before more civilian bullets and I think there's a maple stripe nope it's a Swiss gear right here you got a Swiss gear it's a semi-automatic assault rifle but yeah let's get on with it on the left here you see a civilian house Pretty little home, nice and cozy. Has a couch so you can lay down and chill, and get eaten by zombies. But um, in here we have some more moldy corn, as you can see there in the corner. Pocket knife, good old torch, so you can light your way. Some shotgun shells, a golf club in the golf club in the tub. I don't know why you need a golf club in the tub. Playing golf in the tub. But um, another Swift magazine. I really hope this broken leg goes away soon only time can heal wounds <laughs> but yeah over here we have some construction area and this is where you would find some construction things and things that you would use for crafting so here we have an axe as you can see here some bolts some more moldy corn what's this is this floating oh we got floating duct tape as you can see there it's um suspended in the air there's some kind of magic inflicted upon it um scrap metal for crafting and some work jeans for wearing you wear work jeans over here we got a fireman zombie dead fireman zombie here we got the fire station we got a little fire helmet so you can look cute in your fire helmet we got a green chem light which I'm going to go ahead and throw just for the hell of it here we go next building two torches over here three torches alright so if you ever need a flashlight you know where to look guys it is in the fire station the broken leg is also worn off, so I can sprint now. And here we have the mechanic where you would find um, a lot of things for your cars and stuff. But yeah, we found some bolts and some nails over there, a crowbar for a melee weapon, and a gas can so you can fill up most of the various cars that spawn around here. Here you can see a roadster. It's the fastest vehicle in the game. has no gas, but using that gas tank that we found in the mechanic, um... You can easily fill it up and drive away with without any problems. But in here we have a civilian house. We have a longbow and a travel pack, a Colt pistol, and some cloth. Let's see what we can find in this civilian house over here. This place is riddled with civilian houses and also some stores, guys. So we have some gravestones and some arrows sitting on the gravestones. The bonjour clip, um, moldy potato. And a zombie. Now a dead zombie. Um, moldy carrot. And I'm guessing some more food would spawn in here sometimes, but yeah, that's, that's, that's a fridge. Yeah, let's move over to this um, civilian house over here. We have a katana. Ooh, good. Good, good, good. And um, some buckshot. Let's see what we have in here. We have a little computer area. We can just sit and play some games. Let's move over to the gun store, which is over here. It's the brown building on the far side of the um, far side of the town. We got a zombie. You know, I'm just, I think I'm just gonna shoot him on my maple strike. 
sorry buddy. And here we have the gun store where you would find most of your gun needs, but I found a canteen and some sieve bullets and a road flare, which I am just going to throw for the hell of it once again into this building over here. What an arm this guy has. But yeah, here's the post office guys. Um, got some work jeans, some arrows, and back here you have a hammer, construction jacket, and some scrap metal for crafting. So this is where you would find all your handy materials and probably some clothes as well. And this is the regular store. Some guy was checking out a magic cloak and uh, some sailor fatigues. But this is mostly for clothes. Um, it's pretty much a clothing store. You would find a lot of clothing items, pants and all that. Oh, hi, we found some bottled water. I am going to drink that. Only $1.99. Awesome. Ooh, found a dressing too. Can you use that as well? I am getting lucky. I don't know where that bandage came from. But here we go. We have a baseball bat. This is in another civilian house. The brown one. It has a chair outside so you can just chill and watch people be eaten by zombies once again. See? Right here. Just chill. Nice day outside as well. And um, let's move over to the rich person house. We have the two-story house. We call it the rich person house because a lot of people in this game apparently didn't have two-story houses so a two-story house is considered very rich in my opinion but yeah we have a torch and some moldy bottled water why were you bottling bath water you weirdo whoever lived in this house had some odd fetishes but we're not gonna touch along with that I have enough energy to jump through the window but this is a gas station um, there's an unlimited gas source out here, so you can fill up your car whenever. And some food also in this, in these, uh, little refrigerators over here. I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna eat these canned beans. Yum, yum, yum. Straight out the package. Not even cooking them. Alright, I gotta plug my computer in. My frames will go down, but to no avail, because we are continuing this. Alright, this is the meat store, as you can see. This is where you would find all your meat and your animal pelts. Yeah, there's a lot of meat back here. Some raw bacon. Mm. Some more some more bacon and some more pelts. So this is where you would find anything that, um, if you didn't feel like hunting, you could come to the store and pick up all the meat in here. It's very good for decreasing your hunger and all that. But yeah, this is, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you want to see more content such as this, looting guides anything unturned um subscribe it means a lot i just made this youtube channel a couple days ago and i want it to grow i would love for you guys to help me out and um yeah that pretty much brings this um episode to a close so thank you for watching like favorite and subscribe do all that good jazz and this has been seize and peace